Welcome to the tour video of the Resource Capacity Planner Excel template. This is the video about the third version of this Excel template. If you have purchased the previous versions of this template, then you will receive the new upgraded version for free to your email address. And if you did not receive by any chance, please contact support at nzara.com and I will email you that file for free. Please provide your order number from your previous purchase. In this video, we will go over the features of this Excel template and also will take a tour of the file itself. We upgrade our templates based on customer demand. And so for the latest version of this template, please visit the product page provided in the video description below so that you can get to see the most recent version of this Excel template. Now let's get started. The purpose of this Excel template is to provide a simple and effective solution to capacity planning. The template helps in determining the actual capacity of the resources and then compares that against the demand in order to identify where there is surplus, where there is deficit. The template also provides easy ways for you to modify the capacity or the demand in order to achieve your objective in capacity planning. For example, your objective could be a certain utilization rate. So you can modify the capacity inputs or the demand inputs or both in order to achieve the plan that you are interested in. The template can be used in different contexts. For example, you could be a HR manager or a team manager who is responsible for the planning for your team. And you can use this to plan for the upcoming month to determine the capacity of your team and thus determine how much projects or how much tasks can your team take up for the upcoming month. It could also be used by a project manager who plans projects which goes across multiple months or even up to two years. And then this template can be a tool for you to plan out such large projects with many different resources over a longer period of time. So this is our Excel template and we have the info sheet which provides some very helpful tips so I would recommend um, you reading these before using the template. It provides very valuable inputs on how to use these templates in general. And then you also have links to email to get support if you have any questions about the features of the template or how to use it. The setting sheet is where we input the planning period, you know, what days are weekends, so you can customize it according to your company's needs. And then you can enter a list of holidays where the capacity will become zero and uh, projects are the list of projects that are part of your planning and then the different skill group. So resources can do different types of tasks and hence skill group is used as a way to categorize what type of task it is. So here I have entered a few skill groups and I have entered resources. So by default, the template can accommodate 100 resources or 100 skill groups and 100 projects. So this is where we would enter the information. And then we go to the capacity sheet, which is where we enter the resource, enter when the resource would become available for the project. And then you can put in the skill group that the specific resource will be performing and then what project the skill the resource is assigned to. You can also provide an end date when the resource will stop working on the specific project for the specific skill and you can enter the cost per hour for that resource. You, you will also enter the number of hours the resource will actually be spending the time here I've said one hour of customer service skill for project A between 31st July and 27th September. So that is how we will enter the resource capacity inputs. You will notice that I have entered the same resource, but then I have entered three different records. So the template can accommodate one resource performing different skills assigned to different projects. So for example, customer service rep one is performing customer service skill for one hour a day for project A, performing finance skill two hours a day for project B. The same customer service rep 
performs one hour a day of customer service for another project, project C. So you can see that you can have one resource with multiple projects, multiple skills, or a combination. So all of those can be entered in this template in a very simple structure. So you will enter all such combinations, all such resource available. And so the by default, this can take up to 300 entries. So 300 unique combinations of resource skill project can be entered in this template. There is another version of this template that's available. Uh, the file is available, which can support up to 500 entries. Um, as the number of entries is increased, the um, template becomes larger in size. And so that's why but the default file that you will receive when you download this template will be limited to 300 entries. 100 resources, 100 projects, 100 skill groups, and also 300 unique combinations of resource, skill, and project. So now let's go to the next sheet, vacation over time. So here is where we can say this resource, this skill group, and this project is going to be taking, if it is positive, that means it is overtime. If it is negative, that means it's vacation. So this would be five hours off or five hours the resource will not be available. And then this is eight hours of overtime. So you can enter overtime to increase your capacity, you can enter vacation or time off where the capacity will become less. The demand sheet is where you will enter every task that is part of the project. So here I would have entered July 5th. This resource has to do six hours as part of project A and the type of task is customer service. So this is how you can enter detailed data. Um, if your planning granularity is only like a monthly uh, planning or a weekly, then you don't need to enter daily tasks. If it is weekly, you can enter one record per week for that resource. But if you need daily planning, then you would have to enter daily activities for each resource. And that would allow you to compare the capacity and the demand at the daily level. So depending on the granularity that you are interested in, you can enter the demand in the same granularity. In the template, you will see the green colored cells, which are our calculated columns, which are formula. So please do not edit or change or delete those. And uh, those are critical to the functioning of the template. So please do not uh, modify them. Here we have the dashboard. So once you enter all these inputs, you get to the dashboard and it's fully automated, as I mentioned. Um, you can interact with it by looking at, oh, I'm only interested in project B, then everything updates to only reflect project B. And you can also do it by skill group or resource. So I'm gonna just clear the filter again so that I can see everything. And you can see that there are four projects, 10 skills and 100 resources in my data set. And I have 25 of them overutilized, 24 of them underutilized. So out of the 100 resources, this is what's happening. And then you can also see by project, capacity and demand for each project, and then the demand capacity difference. So these projects have deficit, which means their demand is higher than the capacity. And these projects have surplus, which means the capacity is greater than the demand. Similarly, we have these skill groups with surplus, these skill groups with um, deficit. Similarly, these resources have deficit, these resources have surplus. And it'll show the top five. So if you have more than five, then only the top five will show here. But then you can go to these charts, which will allow you to see more and then you can also filter. So once I know that my interest, for example, is project A has deficit. So I'm gonna click project A, and now I can see just within the project A, there are eight resources who are overutilized. And so I can kind of see, you know, by each resource what is happening in terms of the number of hours, by skill group, by the total project, and I can also see the cost metrics, like for this project, what's the demand versus capacity. Demand is the darker color, and then the capacity is the lighter color. So these charts and everything in the dashboard will update as soon as you slice or filter, and then 
if you are changing the capacity or the demand inputs, then you will have to refresh by clicking the refresh all button and this will refresh the calculations behind. And so if you have changed in the capacity or the demand inputs, then you should always refresh the data so that you get the accurate dashboard metrics. Same thing happens with calendar. So if you go to the calendar sheet, you can see the ability to filter by resource. So let me just choose resource. So now I will actually see every resource and then the I have chosen the measure to be surplus or deficit. I can choose, let's say, capacity. So now I'll see the capacity by day. And then if I want to change it to weekly, then I change it to weekly. I can change it to see the weekly capacity. Similarly, I can choose to show the demand and I can choose to show the surplus deficit. So, um, also, we can choose hours or cost as our unit that we are measuring. And then the slicers work the same way. We have three slicers, project, skill, and resource. So let's finish it up by going over the highlights of the template. So the template is meant to be simple and effective. It's a, just a simple Excel workbook, easy to enter the data. It's automated, interactive dashboard and calendars. You can export the output as PDF and share because the dashboard is visually very effective in communicating the summary of the capacity planning. And also it has a lot of practical functionality, which is the multiple aggregation periods, planning units of hours and cost. You can enter your own company holidays and weekends. The resources can you know, start in a project, leave the project. And also you can allocate the resource to multiple projects and skills. The limits um, are there is a maximum of two years of planning period. The default file has limit of 100 resources, skills or projects and uh, 300 unique combinations of resource skills projects. The requirements for the file are you need Microsoft Excel. You can use Microsoft Excel for Windows 2010 or later. For Mac, it's 2011 or later. And then the file also works in Excel online if, if you plan to publish to Microsoft OneDrive and share. The benefits are pretty obvious. The, it streamlines the process of capacity planning. It saves you a bunch of time because it has all the necessary inputs and outputs automatically um, calculated for you. The dashboard is automated and interactive and it's easy to communicate what's happening with the capacity planning and you can export that as a PDF and share and uh, it saves you money because it's a one-time fee to download the file. There is no recurring fee and all of this is available in a familiar Microsoft Excel which means that there's no macro and you can you know, depending on your familiarity with Excel, you can add additional sheets, you can change the formatting as you need, and we also provide the password to edit the file, so you can make the modifications depending on your familiarity with Microsoft Excel. And finally, the I will provide a link to the product page and also step-by-step -step instructions in the user guide page where you can read how to enter the data into this template step-by-step -step with screenshots. I will also create a video where I will walk through step by step on how to enter the data. If you have any questions about this template or the features, please contact me at support at .com. And if you like to support um, such Excel templates and videos on Excel, please subscribe to the channel and be notified of future videos. I look forward to your feedback in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.